La Riconada for me was an absolutely compelling experience and I don't think I will ever, ever forget the, the feeling that I had in La Rinconada, not only for Peru, but for the human part of us. There was something very medieval about it. The people laboring up the hills, the misery of life. The most important thing in La Rinconada is the gold. Everything's up in the air, no oversight whatsoever. There are abandoned children who roam the streets. Five, ten years ago it was 15,000. Now it's 80,000 people and they're all working the mountain and the mines. It's a toxic place and it seeps down that mountain. It is a very, very hard thing to watch people live that way. So education is really very low on the sense of priorities. Tú eres valiente, hija, lucha. Quieres ser ingeniera, lucha. Nunca te dejes atrás. Si es que de astitas tenías la mentalidad de ser eso, tienes que triunfar. Qué bueno. I was blown away by this little girl, Sena, who was such a warrior in a way. In the middle of a conversation, we'll start spouting poetry. It's the most amazing thing, really, in such a difficult and hard and punishing place. Digan mis penas y mis truncos y yo la manera de recorrer. But this child has such a great appreciation for words and the power of words and she digs down and loves poetry. There are a lot of troubles that have come into her life, a lot of uh, challenges. But she has managed to take it all in stride and work harder and feel good about herself. ¿Sabes lo que estoy diciendo? <laughs> she has a big heart. She has a tiger inside. I'd like to think that she has the power and the will to rise. And somehow you feel this from this little girl. She says, I will do this. I will succeed. I have no help. I have nothing. I have nothing. But I will do this. That's pretty amazing. <laughs>